It's kind of hard to imagine now, but back in its heyday when this place was the center of the world, when this place was all built up, Paul, as a Roman citizen, had a real passion for his people, the people of Rome. Today, we have to learn from the past and say, are things any different? In the history of the Roman Empire, this great world power brought itself down, you know, piece by piece without even knowing it because of its sin. Paul, in his letter to the church, the Christians here at Rome, pleads with them and he urges them. He says, therefore, I urge you, brothers, in the view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies to God as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to him. He says, do not conform to the patterns of the world. The Colosseum is the iconic symbol of the Roman Empire. Christians would be brought here and they would lose their lives because they would not deny Christ during the Roman Empire. This tiny little dungeon is the Mamertine prison. This is where the Apostle Paul and more than likely St. Peter were imprisoned before they were executed. When you look at Paul, did you know that his name, the origin text, the actual name, Paul, means small, it means little. When I think of Paul, the guy that wrote 13 epistles of the New Testament, when I think about the man who was martyred, when I think about the quotations of Paul, when I think about all that Paul has done for the glory of God, the last thing that I think of is small. What I think of is a giant in the faith of God.